Welcome back to Babel. Today we're going to tackle the Axis Mundi. Axis Mundi. The final stage of Babel. The Axis Mundi, the very core of the universe. This is the ultimate final test, filled with the holy light, the origins of existence. Your climb takes you on an invasion into the territory of the gods, where the goddess of fertility awaits. Go forth and use your expertise and intuition to forge a path to a place only the chosen can reach. The requirement for unlocking Axis Mundi is nine gold medals, or normal or hard. You've got to get them all. <laughs> so you made it. How do you feel? I've been waiting here a while. But still, you're simply amazing. I'm absolutely thrilled. Isn't it lovely to know that there are humans who can actually make it this far? Please, allow me to introduce myself. The name Trisha was just an alias. My true name is Ishtar. I am the goddess of fertility governing the world's love. Trisha? Hmm. Ishtar. Who doesn't love a good anagram? Hey man, don't look at me like that. I had to leave some kind of clue, right? It'd be worse if no one figured it out, wouldn't it? <clears throat> oh yeah, the Astaroth you met during the game? Uh, that was another one of my avatars. I'm a goddess with both mercy and cruelty. You saw another side of me in that nightmare. I've been watching you all this time. As I said, we meet again in a different place. <laughs> to be honest, all that other stuff with the prosperity of the race was a facade. I just thought I'd seek out a new <laughs> partner. <laughs> After all... I've grown disappointed with Doomseed's cheating. Besides, when you see a half-naked man climbing a rock wall with his life on the line, you learn his true worth. <laughs> oh, that makes me sound like such a bitch. But hear me out. You have caught the eye of the goddess of fertility. And <laughs> don't misunderstand, I don't mean Vincent. I'm talking about you, the one who borrowed his form to make it here. While I was watching the Golden Playhouse, I was cheering you on too. Vincent thought it was just spam, but I'm sure you figured it out. Hmm. Now then, <laughs> ready for this? Beyond here lies the realm where the gods live, the Axis Mundi. Normally, humans can't set foot in that place. And even for you, it may be difficult to survive. I'm not taunting you. This really is a peak that only those with the greatest abilities can surmount. But, if a human like you is serious about winning the heart of a goddess, then I'll make sure to watch. If you can somehow make a miracle happen, then you deserve the love of the embodiment of femininity. <laughs> Moi. <laughs> you got it. Then, let's give the Moondi a spin. Let's meet again on the top. Well. That sure was a nice fourth wall we had once. Also, turns out the entire point of the game is to get to bone a goddess. So much for me trying to argue that this isn't just masturbation fodder for lonely otaku. Stage 4, the Axis Mundi. Here we are at last, the final stage of Babel. The challenger is, of course, Vincent Brooks. Are the fates smiling down upon Vincent? The countdown begins now. 
Axis Mundi is 300 steps tall and starts off pretty hard right from the start. You see that block up and to the left? That's what you. That's a uh, warp pool, a warp block. If you remember correctly, that is an instant death if you should stand on it. I'm going to push you out of the way. We've also got cracked blocks. Fortunately, however, we do not have any of the nasty stuff that obelisks send our way such as random blocks and monster blocks. Don't have to deal with any of that crap. I'm making things a little bit difficult for myself there, but just narrowly squeezed through. Gonna seem to be spending a lot of time trying to ponder my next move. The layouts here are quite complex, and you'll see me dropping the stage a lot. It's quite important to drop the stage in very tidy ways. Like that, for example. New and this. See how the blocks lined up, and now I can create a nice, a nice platform to work with. New you will see me dropping off quite a few blocks. Also, pulling them out New when they'll fit nicely. New You really have to watch your every step in Axis Mundi. Stepping on the wrong cracked block at any time, or moving a block in the wrong direction can lead to disaster almost instantly. New I'm going to pull out the block on the third level first. That way, when I push out this cracked block, that one won't fall into oblivion, and I'll have a nice platform to work on. Once I drop these blocks down, I'll again have a nice fit. I'll use the blocks on the right hand side as fodder for climbing the left. Getting stuck around the back still. Even though I am pro at this, it still happens. The level has become quite narrow at this point. We have to carefully work our way up. Still just dropping entire levels. Well, no, I did not, in fact. But it works fine this way, too. New record. If maybe slightly slower. New record. And I'll have to go fast because can you hear those blocks dropping away below me? The drop speed on Axis Mundi is extremely fast New record. New record. and rather deadly. Steps. I'm not sure how much more, how much longer I can last at this speed. To be honest, it's continuing to drop levels to try and make some way up. That'll fit nicely. Yep. Gonna head up the left hand side here. Oh, but I can see the blocks dropping below me. Come on, go hurry up. Ooh, I beat my record. Alright, okay, we can get up here. Push away some blocks to drop these down and ascend a little bit higher. New and oh, what the fuck do I do here? Crap, 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 crap! Oh no. Oh man. As you can see, it's quite difficult. I did beat my record. Probably won't be any good though, I mean it's 300 steps tall and I only got to about, I don't know, 50 something? So I don't know how well I'll rank on this leaderboard. Oh. Third? I barely got a sixth of the way through the level and I'm third. 
And the number one guy was just two more steps. How the hell is that? What is wrong here? Well, here's the thing, the entire level is bugged. And I'll show you how. Watch the level and the time counter on the top right. Edge, edge. New record. New record. The stage of battle has begun. There. There's the problem. You're not supposed to be at level 2 at this point. You're supposed to get to level 2 when you're about 20 steps up. I'm barely 3 or 4 at that point. And the problem is you get to level 2 now and then the level never increases again. You're stuck at level 2 forever and that's bad for two reasons. The first of all is that um, the game starts serving you the wrong pattern. I'm not sure what level the patterns it's giving you is from, but their patterns are meant to appear much later in the level, but they're landing on a base that's from the start of the level, and that's why everything's so difficult, because a pattern from the end of the level is landing on a pattern from the start of the level, and a lot of that pattern is just falling into the abyss, or it's landing on uneven surfaces it's not meant to land on. The other problem is that the block drop speed increases the longer you spend on any one level, and you're spending forever on level 2. So eventually the block drop speed is going to inevitably just get too fast for anybody to handle. So, this is bugged, and it's a real shame. It's bugged in all versions, all the English language versions. The Japanese va language version works just fine on all systems, but the English language, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360 versions are all bugged. And, even, and it still persists even now. I'm playing the European version, the bug is still about. It's a real shame, I hate it. <sighs> and frankly, it pisses me off. I mean, if I were Atlas, it's been 11 months since the American version was released. If I were Atlas, I would be embarrassed that this is still the case. Because, you know, we're not still playing on PlayStation 2s here, you know? Once a game is on the disc, you can patch it if you have a problem with it now. Everybody, people have internet access, they have hard drives. You can release a patch, but Atlas hasn't done that. And I think that's a real shame. But there you go. Uh, so yeah, it's a real struggle just to get past 10 or 20 in this. If you do manage that and you practice a lot, most people hit the wall around about 50 to 60. I've seen claims that some people go up to 90. I've not been able to check that. I can't see those leaderboards. If you're playing on the American PS3 version, you'll see some people have completed it. That's people playing the Japanese version. Those leaderboards are shared. Oh well. It is a real shame because now I cannot have sex with the goddess. Boom. Well, it's not a complete loss. I mean, if it, w if it was a complete loss and there was no way to get the achievements achi uh, attached to this New level, New I can see people being much more upset about this. However, fortunately, there is a workaround. I'll show you that in the next video. And for what it's worth, I still like this better than Obelisk.